In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to take a pre-recorded video and live stream it to Facebook and YouTube and many others using a really cool website called OneStream. Stay tuned. One stream. Um, wow. This is, um, wow. <laughs> Reason why I'm saying this because man, I've been using this application, this, this website, this service for, um, pretty, pretty, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a very deep way, um, uh, for the past, maybe a good year and a half now It's definitely saved me a lot of time. It's definitely helped us, uh, me and my wife make a lot of money for sure. Uh, simply because we've been able to take pre-recorded videos um, and broadcast them live on Facebook, Facebook groups, Facebook fan, fan pages, YouTube channels, Instagram, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all on autopilot. I mean, we could just take pre-record. And this was the main reason why I purchased this particular product. Um, I was searching for, I can't remember how I came across it, but when I saw it, I'm like, this is exactly what I need. And uh, uh, guys, let me show you here really quick here. Uh, it's called OneStream. And and I know a lot of times, you know, when you, when you want to go live, a lot of times you just got to go live, right? You just, you know, and if you if you have reservations on going live, uh, really first, you just need to punch fear in the face and just get it done. Just go live. Use your phone, whatever. Just go live. The more you do, the, you, the, the better you'll get at it. Now, there are times when you really just need to, record a video first, make sure you like it, then push that video out live to Facebook, to, to YouTube. And of course we all know why, because live videos tend to get more engagement, more views, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the reason why. So it makes sense. So this is one stream here, um, live stream, real, real time and recorded video. So this is the main reason why I purchased this product, you know, back in early 2020. Cause you can go live, schedule recorded live streams up to 40 different social media accounts. Uh, really cool stuff here. Let me, let me, uh, let me show you the price really quick here. Price for it is, uh, for the monthly. Of course, if you do the yearly, you save a little money, 20%. And of course they got a free account. Um, which is what I had when I first tested it out You had a free account. Uh, then we have a $10 account. We got the standard 39 account and the professional 89. Now I think I, I actually have the professional, I believe, um, just because I do a lot, you know, uh, I create a lot of scheduled lives on multiple in, in, you know, multiple destinations, you know, especially when I'm like, you know, launching a new business or something like that. And, and to keep me from sometimes from having to do a lot of live webinars, I'll use one stream to do those webinars for me. I'll, I'll make a handful of webinars or do a handful of the live presentations. And then I'll take those live presentations. Cause you know, like if you use zoom or, or whatever, you know, it records your, your presentations or whatever. Well, I can take those presentations, throw them in the, to one stream and then reschedule or just repurpose those live videos for, for future presentations on Facebook or YouTube, you know, every day, multiple times a day. There are times where I was actually running three presentations every day different presentations because we i recorded a lot of them in the beginning and then i repurposed those presentations and we were doing like three presentations every day and they were all on autopilot <laughs> so guys hey that's why i like one stream really really cool stuff so here we go uh let me show you guys here let me let me come back to the main page here and and i'll show you a little bit of how this works let me, let me just, just do a stream now. I'm not going to actually go live with anything. I'm just going to show you the setup. It's pretty simple. It's pretty intuitive. It's nothing. You don't need to be a rocket scientist or anything like that. So I just logged in here. You see all the different, different types of accounts that you can connect to one stream. Of course, you got your Facebook pages, your Facebook groups, your Facebook profile, et cetera, your YouTube channels, right? Uh, your, your Instagram accounts, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And there's some other advanced stuff that you can do. You can pretty much use this for anything, but you know, you'll learn all this stuff later. There's some advanced stuff that you can definitely do. And then there's a lot of different, you know, uh, different types of platforms that some you've probably heard of some you probably haven't, but again, there's a lot of cool things that you can actually do. Now, the, the cool thing here is, uh, if you look here, 
there's a lot of different options here on the side here. And, and I just want to pay attention right here where it says videos right here. Uh, so if I click on videos, it's going to show me my current videos that I've uploaded into this platform. Now I, I've got several currently right now at the one, two, three, four, five currently right now. And, uh, uh, and if you look here, uh, you can see the different time zones or just time zones, the different time, the length of time for each video. This one's like an hour. This one's 58 minutes. This one's 56 minutes, 50 minutes. You get, you get, you get the, you know, the idea here. So mostly for me, I use them for presentations. Um, you know, if I'm promoting an opportunity, um, you know, or some type of presentation, a product that has a presentation involved in, with, with it, whether it be a digital product, physical product, an opportunity, whatever. OK, I typically use it for that purpose, something that I want to continue to keep sharing. But you can use it for whatever, whether it's a five minute video, 10 minute video. It doesn't matter. You use it however you want to use it. OK, I'm just kind of give you an idea of how I use it. So so and you can up upload these videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can upload these videos. They give you like uh, 50 gigabytes of, of space uh, that might vary depending on your package. But that's still a lot. Uh, you could upload a lot of videos here, guys. I, I have never reached that capacity. I've never uploaded that many videos where it reached capacity. So, and I've been using this for a year and a half at a, at a very high level. <laughs> okay. Very high level, many videos, many schedules, you know, so on and so forth. So let me show you this guys really quick here. So let's say this video right here, that's already uploaded into the system. Okay, and there's other ways that you can, you know, upload videos and everything. You can use different, you know, desk, you know, different resources that it can pull from as well to push your video. But normally myself, I normally upload the video to their platform. Okay, um, here's the thing. So right here, you got several icons, um, schedule information about that video, closed caption, or I could just delete the video if I want to. But we want to schedule it. So I'm going to click on the little scheduler icon right there. It's going to show that video there. And, uh, and what I want to do, uh, let's, let's schedule, you know, a live. Okay. Let's schedule one. So let's say I want to use this, uh, this name, or I don't want to use it and I can delete that because it's just the name of the file and I can click and I can choose Let's do, <coughs> excuse me, getting over a code here. Uh, I can do breaking news. All right. So, and then of course it saves a lot of your titles, like previous titles and description descriptions it'll save that information but uh, uh in the description let's just say um uh i don't know uh be there <laughs> be there be square right so i'm just gonna say be there okay you can say whatever you want to say you can put links here you can you know give a you know detailed description however you want to do it right just whatever you want to say in your description, you, it's just like a post. Remember, it's going to be like a post. So what we're going to do, we're going to set this up so we can post on my Facebook account. Okay. Um, I can do my YouTube. I can do multiple fan pages, fan groups, whatever, whatever accounts that I have connected to my one stream account, I can create a broadcast and hit all those destinations all at the same time. If I want to make sense, but we're just going to just do one just for time's sake. So be there. And uh, I normally don't put anything in the tag section personally myself. Uh, and then right here, schedule your stream. So that's what we need to do. So if I click here, uh, let's do it for tomorrow. Uh, let's say tomorrow at 12 noon. How about that? Yeah. 12 noon. That's a good time. So let me put that to zero. So tomorrow at 12 noon, my time which is Pacific time. Okay. Uh, or Las Las Vegas time which is Pacific standard time. Now, anytime I do a schedule live, especially on Facebook or even YouTube, I always do an announcement with that. Let me, let me show you what I mean. Now, again, this isn't going to go live until tomorrow. Okay. I set it for September 3rd as I am making this video, September 2nd. Okay. So this isn't going to go live until tomorrow. However, I need to start promoting for it. I want, hey, this is a big deal here. This is going to be a big lot. I already got the video made. It's perfect. I don't want as many people to see it. So I'm going to click where it says advanced settings and we're going to do an event announcement. And, and I want that announcement, let's say, to go out 
as as much as as far as I can get it to go out. So let's say, well, tw can't do 21 hours because that's less time. I can do 17. Okay, let's go to 18. Nine, okay, can't do 19. Okay, so boom. All right. So what this is telling me, it's going to do eight, over the next, you know, uh, it's going to it's going to do an event post. It's going to post it 18 hours before that 12 noon, um, you know, deadline for it to go live, which means it's, it's probably going to post here here in the next several minutes. <laughs> if not, uh, well, I guess here in about uh, probably here in about 30 minutes is going to do the post, which is about 18 hours from that actual uh, live broadcast to go live if that makes sense okay so i don't want to i could do it for an hour you know i could say well do the post let's say two hours before we go live I, or i could say we'll do it five hours before it go live but you know what i want it to post like tonight so i'm just gonna go all the way down to around about the, what was it 18 hours that it gave me i'm, I'm just gonna do it there i want it to post i want i want to get as much buzz about my event that's about to go down um, tomorrow at noon as I can. So it'll post nice little post on Facebook. It'll do the post also on YouTube. And it's basically saying, Hey, Steve is going live tomorrow. Hey, 12 noon, be there or be square, right? Whatever. Right. It's pretty much what it's saying. Right. So now, so it's going to do the announcement post, but what I want to do as well. Okay. If I go back up here, when it does that post, it's going to use this thumbnail. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use that thumbnail. <laughs> it just pulled a random frame from the video. Um, you could, uh, but I don't want to use that. So I'm going to create one, right? So you can use a different image if you want to or whatever. So I'm going to click here and, and I'm going to go to, okay, I'm in my download section and then I'm just going to find a different one that I can use here. I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about in that particular. Um, let me see here. What's this one? I think this one's cool. How about that one? Let's use that image. What is that image? Okay. Five rules for success. Let, let's just say that's what my video is about. Okay. All right. So, um, and I can, and, and again, if I wanted to change it again, I can just click on the little icon here that says, you know, thumbnail and I can change it. Okay. So that's, what's going to post when i when it does the actual post here at the top of the hour as i'm making this video okay now so let's kind of let's kind of check okay we got the thumbnail check title check description check everything looks fine the date and time ready to rock and roll i got the announcement already set so it's getting it's going to do the announcement here within the next you know as i'm making this video within the next 30 minutes it's going to do the hour at the end do the announcement at the top of the hour um scroll down now i gotta okay where do you want to send it these are the different accounts that i have associated when you hover over it'll tell you what it is steven rachel page okay um you know it'll let you know steven lanacia mastermind group right so it lets you know what it is so as uh, some of them have pictures and some of them don't I don't know why it does that but it always connects so let's just do my page my, my one of my fan pages here so we'll click on that and when i click on that it's going to give me a little green check. Let's say I want to do a group. Let's do the group. Okay. Boom. Green check. That means everything is, it means it's connected. We're good. Okay. Uh, that's why it's, it's thinking. So it's, it's checking everything. Right. And then if I wanted to do a different one, uh, here's my Facebook profile. Check. Okay. So I got my Facebook profile, my Facebook fan page and Steven uh, and Lanacia's mastermind group. Okay. So, um, so we're good. Everything checks out. I got everything laid out simple. And again, it doesn't even take this long. It's only taking longer because I'm, I'm explaining this whole process, but this normally takes five minutes if that. Okay. Cause if you already know what you're going to do, you just, you know, whatever, right. You might spend more time just trying to figure out what you want to say in the, in the description and in the title, right? Everything else is pretty much just check, 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 click, boom, and you're done. So all I got to do now is schedule. So when I hit schedule right here, Let's see. Let's see. Boom. There we go. And we should have three scheduled lives here. Okay. There, here's the first one, right? And it tells me there's the video. So I know what video is tied to it. Cause that video is an hour and one minute and 51 seconds. Okay. So there's my thumbnail. 
This one's going to go to um, Steve and Lanace's Mastermind Facebook group, okay? And it's going to do the announcement post here, which I'm actually going to delete all these because I don't really want that to go out. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is to schedule. All right, so uh, that's ready to rock and roll. Set it and forget it, right? Here's the other one. Uh, let's see. This is going to my Steve Rachel fan page, right? Boom, that's where that one's going. And then this one is going straight to... Uh, my profile, Steve, profile, Steve, Rachel profile. Okay. Page Steve, Rachel, uh, we see group Steve and Ace's math. So it lets you know exactly what it is. If you, if I needed to reschedule the time, I can click on this little icon. I can reschedule the time. If I need to delete it, if I need to edit the schedule, um, um, I can definitely do that. If I need to get more information and it gives you a little timer, see the little timer here is giving me the time when this is actually going to go live. 18 hours, 28 minutes, and 21 seconds. Make sense? So pretty simple. So I got three. And the cool thing, these will all go live. All of them will go live at the same time tomorrow at 12 noon. I don't even have to be on one stream. Matter of fact, I don't even have to be on my computer. It's just going to go live automatically. It's already set. It's already set. So, and again, I've had times where I've set this up you know, weeks in advance. Like I got lives going on on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, the next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the week after that, Monday. I mean, all I would take several hours just setting all that up and then boom, I'm done. I got live videos all set, ready to rock and roll. Now I can focus on other things in my business. Okay. Now, you got to create the content to be able to do it. And, or you could just have, maybe you got one killer presentation that's like, that closes everybody when someone sees it and you just want to use that one presentation. Guess what? You could just use that one presentation if you wanted to. It's up to you. Okay. You got total control. So that's one stream guys. Uh, really, really simple. Uh, really, really cool platform. I really enjoy being a customer of one stream it's definitely saved me a lot of time and effort over the years um you know uh, well over the last year and a half i guess you could say um you know i'll probably always be a customer as i'm you know especially being a marketer for sure um so if you're if you're wanting to have a robust system to broadcast um live videos um all over the place um, you know, using a platform like this, Hey, one stream is, is definitely, um, you know, a powerhouse at that. And I, and again, I've been using it for a year and a half. You'll see more information. Click on the link right below. If you click on the link, of course, you know, I get a small commission if you actually, you know, get one stream, but Hey, just set it up. Remember you got your free account. You got all the different accounts as well. If you want to be able to do more with it and, uh, which I recommend it, it definitely, uh, help you in the long run for sure, short term and long run. And uh, uh, so definitely, definitely my number one platform when I'm doing uh, pre-recorded videos uh, at at a high level. OK, um, if I want a lot of options and there's a lot more stuff that it does as well, you'll find out about all that once you get into the back office. But the main reason I use OneStream is specifically for setting up pre-recorded videos to go out to Facebook, to YouTube, to different you know, different destinations and, uh, um, and to have it all on autopilot where I can set things up days in advance, weeks in advance. And it's really, really cool. So, Hey, if, if you got some value from this video, do me a favor, give me a like, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the bell. So you get a little notification on your phone. When I upload some new videos, I got a lot of cool little, um, you know, you know, tricks and strategies and tools and resources I'm going to be talking about on my YouTube channel. So you want to be, you know, in front of that information because it could be able to help you to be more successful in whatever it is you're doing. So with that said, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Peace.